Sometimes good at Who security are you? <laughs> See, I will tell, but I signed. You look you like know. either you security a nation of Islam one, boy. He's ready. <laughs> Tell you, nah, you I was I was an extra on the blind side. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. You say extra yeah. on where? I was an extra on the blind side. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I hear you. Know why he fuck you up? Gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. We live and direct on the motherfucking airwaves. Today I have two special guests, two special guests, technically three, but we all know Mr. Brandon, who've been here before, so mm-hmm. that's different. So I'm gonna introduce y'all. I got to my left my homeboy Takey, TK. Take it, take it. I can't speak. Yeah, I'm gonna take it too. <laughs> <laughs> TK, what it do, Key? What's going on? It's your boy TK, woman to North Carolina. You know, already know. know. Rocking out Wilmington. All right, sis. Yo. It's T, yeah. T, you gonna go with the nickname T on yeah. here? Yeah. T like lemonade T? Too yeah. many T's now. Shout out to the T's. Okay. It's all right. Ain't never too much. Ain't never too much. Ain't never too much. All right, ain't Mr. Brand New. What it do, Chief? Hey, y'all already know what it is. You see, I'm trying to get it right, right quick. <laughs> 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 all right, to my to my right, who would that be that boy? That be that boy, cool Kev, man. Uh, you know. Who that be that boy? Who that be that boy? Who that be that boy? Sis, I'm happy you here. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy. TK, Chief. I'm happy. I'm happy you here. Gangsters. Blessings. Here. Blessings. This, this for the record, I've been trying to get on this podcast for three years. We ain't even been out for three years, first of all. Three years. You know, three it's a blessing years. to be here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Long years. I appreciate it too. There we go. Hey, it's it's oh, done. It's done. They ain't even spill it. So anyway, we're gonna talk about some different topics today. Sweet. Um but yes, I do appreciate y'all actually being here. I'm happy and thankful y'all here. Um, sis, where you from? I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. That's where I reside currently. Okay. Came Ooh. all the way back just to be on the podcast. Girl, she trying to make it. Don't, man, don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. She trying to get <laughs> on. <laughs> she trying to get on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why she trying to hit that nerve? I came all the way back just to be a nah, nah. Just she to know be she, she know she lied. She, that's, that's, and I didn't. That's about 85% exaggerated. She know it is. You know it is. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm Only 35%. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy you here. Bro, where you from? You said Carolina? Yes, Carolina, sir. Boston? Port City. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, 16th. Okay. None. The um, bottom. The bottom. What we want to... The bottom. Before I help y'all select the subject, um, what, you, what y'all want to talk about? TK, I'm going to start it with you, Chief. What you want What you want to talk about? You you oh. new here. We, go, we start yeah, we the can newbies. slide into it. Wanna... Yeah, uh, right now, filming right now, Our Kind of People, uh, okay. Lee Daniels Production. Uh, screen gems, appreciate it. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. good little snap. And I appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Right. And uh, we're definitely gonna get into uh, uh, the casting. Kimmy Stewart, I appreciate you guys. Uh, right. definitely wanting more people to show up. We need faces, man. Come get your, come get your shine on. Mm. Boy, why you ain't been telling me that shit? Uh, if you like, yeah. that, <laughs> ain't nothing. Well, what I you know, know that. Hey, I'm gonna holler at you. Oh uh, well, you uh, what they're doing now is you do an email with a uh, with everything like your name, address, and location, mm-hmm. and uh, they're gonna get your your headshots and everything like that, and you send that into to them, and they'll go for with the process of putting you on the application to get you started, get you uh, there on location with the time and wardrobe and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kimmy Stewart, uh, Facebook. T.W. Casting is is doing a couple of productions right now. I'm working on Florida Man, also uh, a couple of more. I can't. I can't really talk about yet. Uh, another one is filming. That, you saw that NDA, didn't you? Yeah, I it's man, they, they, uh, they, they try to say I ain't uh, selling nothing. I ain't <laughs> selling nothing. I might. Need to, <laughs> I think I think I gotta look into doing some NDAs here. I want people saying how I be rocking around and walking around and doing what I be doing. Yeah. NDAs is very smart. You saw the NDA. I can sue in your ass so bad if you got you snitching or talking about shit you ain't gotta talk about. You know who you are. Well, I ain't signing. <laughs> well, if you did, let me hold about two, three dollars. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So let me say this on camera. Let me hold some. Granddaddy, 
I got you when I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't up yet, but we getting there. No, Look, we let me tell you, we getting there. Yeah, I, I, I'm in the camera with Morris Chestnut, but I ain't in the pockets. <laughs> I ain't in that mm-hmm. bracket yet, but we working there. We but, getting there. Yeah. But if he's speaking into existence, yeah. tongue is very, very powerful. Speaking into existence. Power of the tongue. That's real. Watch how things fall and manifest. Manifest. Just don't hey, forget about me when you make it, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> you know that? You know that? Hey, I just want to let them know, too, man. By the way, y'all, if y'all don't know, man, Florida man is being shot right here in Wilmington, yes. man. Yes. Yeah, I was, so I was cool. driving earlier today, right by Independence Mall, right? Is they doing that shoot? Shooting it near that mall? Near, near it, yes. I'm yes. Not, I, walk past I can't give up locations exactly, but it if so you I, see it, you see it. I was driving and I saw <laughs> I saw the uh I saw uh stadium lights. I'm like, what in the world? Stadium lights. I said oh, sure. <laughs> then I saw 18 Money. Now, I'm not let me tell you something. I Money. drive 18 Shout out to my people out there who do have CDLs and is driving moving freight all around this country 24-7-365. Most definitely. I literally saw the, that truck, that truck is at least $14 million. Mm-mm. No exaggeration. Mm. Okay. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to maybe, yeah, maybe, I'm going to say seven. The I'm going to say seven. Just the truck with the, with the equipment on it, $14 million. Mm. You ain't even seven seen Seven by that. itself. And I'm not even exaggerating. The, the actors trailers, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Man. They're nice. You can live They're in nice. it. Mm. You can live mm. in there. Straight up. Now, you got the Google Will Smith uh, bus. Oh. That ain't gonna lie. Oh, that thing. <laughs> Will Smith got that butt. I ain't gonna lie. I saw his uh, trailer before when he was shooting. Uh, what's that one? He sh- uh, with the dog, man. Oh, I'm Legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, you if know, you got a bowling alley, he, it needs to have property taxes. If you got a bowling alley on your trailer, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. to have paid have that's property taxes right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We talking tax deductions. I need all that. Mm. Will Smith <laughs> gonna take up the whole block, bro. Whole yeah. block. Whole block. Trailer. How it's you crazy. do that? Like, how Shout you do that? Take I, I, the whole block for your trailer. Like, this is very true. This is very true. So yeah, but anyway, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Please All get right. in touch with Kimmy Stewart, TW Casting. Uh, they're shooting the summer I turn pretty right now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they're shooting echoes. Certain things Sis, I can say and. Yeah. You might as well go ahead and hit up your friends since you're on the phone. Yeah. No, hit I was up. looking at Will Smith bus because y'all was talking about it. I ain't never seen it. It's nice. I ain't never it's seen nice. it. It's nice. Okay, I wasn't about to throw some shade. I look, at, look at you. It's got a zip code. It's got a zip She's code. So shady. It's got a zip code. Throw some shade, but I, I, I refrain from that. But yeah, Dang, definitely. Let me go ahead. You might as well send out, send those text messages to your friends. Yeah, but I want to know about the guests. I ain't got no friends. Find out about my people. Sis, you don't have no friends. Mm-mm. Family only. Family. Okay, okay, okay. I, I mm-hmm. respect that. I respect that. In that case, I don't have It'd be family. like that sometimes, mm-hmm. though. It'd be After like... a certain amount of years, you become family. You know, not mm. my friend, no more. You family. That's right. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. All righty. There's a disconnect. I only agree with you probably 40%. Why? Because you have to be wary of pretend gestures of admiration and hidden mm. agendas. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that right smile, right real fake. Right yeah, that right smile, right real fake. Right you gotta think. Yeah, you gotta think. Huh, you gotta think about it. You can't be, you can't be everybody's friend, and you even can. people that I know mean, you. Yeah, because right, they take advantage right. of that. They really would think but about it. You're, you're family until you show me otherwise. I'm with you. Okay, I see. Like, you I see. Know what I'm saying. See, I, love, first I, impressions of everything. See, I'm gonna be like this, bro. I'm, this is how I treat first people. off, I love everybody. This is how I treat people. I'm like, this is some crazy shit. Everybody, I, I learned a lot from your first this impression. Is, this is this is how I really treat. The first impression is very important. I'm telling you, I go lie. That goes a long way from a first impression. You only get that one opportunity to show somebody who you are, and it could be bad or good. You know, mm. that's but what I grandma treat, said. Like, <laughs> I treat everybody as if they are negative until they show me that they're positive. Because everybody's capable of every sin in the Bible, right? If yeah. you look at that from a Christianity point of view, like think about they it. They are. Think about it. like even even like uh, I train some truck drivers to drive trucks. I'm not gonna say your name, but you know who you are. And <laughs> <laughs> and when the thing about it now is like I train that that white person, and then my back of my cerebellum or brain mm. and my synapses, I'm thinking this man racist. He is. I think he racist, but until he he or she. Show me otherwise. Mm. You know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, all, everybody who I train who's Caucasian or other, um, 
It was down to earth. I ain't never really had any bad right. really Not racist. stereotyping at all. Not just, stereotyping. Yeah. No, just not impressions. Stereotyping. Just impressions. Just impressions. We love all people. We love, let me tell you something. Like white, black, green, yellow, right. Haitian. I'm one of the Rican. coolest rednecks. Mm. Like for oh. real. I know I know rednecks cooler than mm. Uncle Duke and them. Shout out to Spivey. <laughs> yeah. you know I'm talking about for real. Spivey, if you see this, shout out to you, bro. You one of the biggest rednecks I know. When I see you, you you scream racist, but you're not. You ain't a racist. For real, you, we love y'all. With, you down with the click? Shout out to Spivey. But yeah, <laughs> about so, damn time you on here. I know. It's so exciting. Forever, I, know. I don't know what I'm supposed to look at the camera. Girl, you, you, yeah, you gonna look at the camera? Yeah, <laughs> look at the tits around. I don't know. There you go. You little nervous. This so what you want? So what you want to talk about? It don't matter. Y'all know I'm open. I like to talk. What, so how? Let's start off with your day. How your day been? It's been good. Have my mom move. She's moving to Mexico. She moved to Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, yeah. Mexico. I know. Let's get that around the applause. Gotta do it. it. Bilingual. In Mexico. Okay. Yes. So happy. So in about I want to say month, one or two months, I'll probably be moving with her. Okay. Yeah, can't be too far away from my mom. I didn't even know this. No, Brush up on I'm your lying, Spanish. I'm lying. Y'all Get your Espanol. I, I, can't, I can't afford that now. I was going to say, bring me back a burrito. Hey, uh, bring me back a burrito. For real, like, for real. <laughs> so, so what's what she doing? Did you drop no, she's taking a flight. She put well. We helped her put all her stuff in storage today. Helped her put, finish packing up. We had a little family day. Okay. Even though it was raining, I mean. Yeah, I know. I don't care about no rain. I'm still she out there. She ain't care about it. She wants to see her mom. I'm still out there with the kids yeah. with the water guns and everything in the rain. <laughs> That's right. Right up. That's how you do it, Mexico. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie. I've never been to Mexico. I never... Me neither, but she said she's moving to a town right outside of Cancun. Cancun is beautiful, I heard. I've never been to Cancun. That's the beautiful. vacation spot, but... That's a... That's a... What? Yeah. Mm. So, I'm so excited to go visit her. Ooh. Huh. I need anyway. to go visit <laughs> I need to go she get said, me a vacation. Anybody can come anytime they want to. Very I got up. that. I got my passport. I gotta I got wait till so I I'm... feel like at least half the world is about right. You know what I'm saying? This is like, very true. I'm, this I'm is... I still. I'm true. on the fence still. I just want a burrito. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just some more thing. We're going to south of the border. We yeah. understand. I just want a burrito. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like... This is very true. You gotta be careful, Mexico. Yeah, it's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of situations that's happening. Um, it is, in but the one thing and reason why I'm not worried about her going down here, I was at first, but then I thought about it. My mom don't do nothing. Yeah, she works from home. Hmm. She okay. don't. Okay. She she don't go to the grocery store. She gets like the DoorDash. The she bougie. So yeah. <laughs> so we're not that's talking. Where you get it from? That's where you get it from. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not it's talking about. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not talking about like Mexico City. We talking about all the way Mexico. Hmm. Yeah. We, like in Mexico. Tijuana, not yeah. El Paso, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> no, not El Paso, Texas. Okay. Like in Mexico. Oh, she, she, she did say Cancun. She ain't so playing. You, no, in, she you in the heart of Mexico. Yeah. I'm excited for I know, that's I can't right. Wait. I can't wait. I need to go. You think your mama let me go visit her? She yeah. will. Mama hey, loves, mama. She loves hey, mama. <laughs> Disclosure. My mama loves all y'all. All of y'all. Come on. She'll let all y'all come if y'all want to. I, you know, I, this may sound fat, but I just want to go out there for the food. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I just want the taco. I swear to God, I just want the taco. Just give me a chick name, Maria. I know that taco is like A1. <laughs> I want, I want some, to make some beans. Not, you know, you want some real rice and beans. You I'm not trying to knock my food. A real Maria, huh? Yeah, yeah, she got to get down, huh? I want some salsa. They got to call her a abuela when they come in the room. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I, want the, I want the tequila straight out the plant. Yo, y'all ain't playing with the wrong shot. Wow. I want the tequila straight out the plant. Yeah. Damn. I done put the Henny with it. It's right. <laughs> yeah, that is a good mixture. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I see where y'all at. Yeah. Gosh, that's what's up. That's what's up. The, the tequila so, so out the moves, plant. So, so out what, the plant. I ain't gonna lie. That's what's up. I'm excited. Brand new. So what you got going nah. on, man? Man, you know me. I'm just chilling, slow motion with the potion. Just trying to make <laughs> it to the ocean. You feel oh, me? Trying to go for that swim. <laughs> you feel me? My nigga say he trying to crank that Michael Phelps. No, nah, I've just been chilling, man. You know, keeping my head down to the ground so I can hear everything. You know. Sometimes that's good. That's sometimes good. Whose security are you? 
See, I will tell, but I signed. You look you like know. either you secured a nation of Islam one, boy. He's ready. <laughs> Tell you, nah, you I was a, I was an extra on the blind side. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. You say extra yeah. on where? I was an extra on the blind side. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I hate it. You know why he'll fuck you up. Because he, the club, since he was talking about the casting and all that. Yeah. You know I mean? That was a yeah. plug for the casting and all that, if you was listening. That's what's That's up. That's a plug for the casting. That's what's up. It's the brand new. Cat, yeah, man. You all right, man? What yeah, I mean, I'm you? Gucci, man. You know? Yeah, I just, you know, making a lot of treats. <laughs> is he? Is he? What the fuck I just said earlier? What is did I say he? just earlier? Anyway, yeah, you making treats, all right, silly rabbit. <laughs> that cereal is clutch, though. Uh, uh, here's my point. But anyway, let's get to the, this real nitty gritty of the topic. I see right now y'all don't know what y'all want to talk about, so let me give y'all oh, the please. idea. What is going on as we speak right now on the world stage in each country got something in common? And I'm, I'm not talking about the disease. I'm not gonna I was going to say Kobe. No. Kobe. I was going to say... We all need to... Re- no, just, no. Mm, I feel woo. like everybody in this world at some point need a vacation for themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody I talk to today in some shape or form, they're not happy. It's a lot of unhappiness going on. But it's not just like a regular vacation. It's just like a time to breathe, relax, like get yourself together, like a mental vacation. Even if you just sit at home on the couch and just Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs that. I mean, you got the situation with school shootings. Yes. I mean, the situation with black people. Black people. The the, the, uh, medical system. The situation with the education system. The situation. It's like, yo. You what the hell? It's gonna cause people Ooh. to have what's called burnout. You know, yeah. you know why we having all these school shootings? I'm gonna tell you why. It's because back in the day, it was a uh, he ain't look like me. <laughs> 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 oh no. I ain't saying nothing. Speak a lot of my niggas like he Lolo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, blue. All right, blue. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right. But listen, it was back in the day, maybe about 10, 15 years ago, it was this white kid that shot up a high school. I don't Taliban? Remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing them. really happened to him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now, if it was vice versa, it would have been a totally different story. If it, Of they, course. Yeah. Of course. They, kill- the prime example would be the uh, insurrection oh, no. that happened this past January. Yeah. If there was a bunch of people who looked like me, went into the, ro- the White House, went yeah. into the Capitol mm. building, I'm pretty Yo. sure with a mask. They know not, they can yeah. get it. It ain't even they, that, bro. They it's not know, even that. I mean, but you, well, let's even dig deeper in that. We can't be surprised. Look how America is treating the people in Haiti. True. Now you gotta think, you gotta think about, earlier, you gotta think yeah. about Haiti. It goes to, to the root. I had to sit back and like, well, why they gonna treat America ain't racist. And right. then I have to think about it. No. Haiti did get their independence, what, 20, 35 years before America did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, before us black people, you know, before June they, 19th or Juneteenth. Basically, they've been free. You know, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. They've yeah. been free. They fought. They beat the French. Come on. They beat the conquistadors. Right. Yeah. yeah. They beat the English. Okay. Yeah. Who else yeah. they beat? Everybody. They beat France. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. You could not control Haiti. Haiti was their own territory. And it was black people who looked like us. So when they won from their country because their president just got assassinated, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, I got you about the world news. If you want to call it. <laughs> a few weeks ago. If you want to call it. Uh, the they president got assassinated. Some <laughs> people trying to run in, the, in our country. And my this is how I'm thinking now. And please don't judge me. I, I'm cool. going to be, be speaking freely right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. We can bring the Afghanis in to help our Afghani neighbors out, but we cannot bring our Haitians in to help them out. Why is that? We can't help. They, I, I figure because the Haitians got their independence, mm. America don't want they fuck it. They don't want to help them. They black people. Well, that's you, a bunch yeah, of niggas. Look you, at that's, how they, that's how America look at it. They a bunch of niggas 
Y'all best friend Trump even said they can't come in this country. It's too much AIDS and HIV. Yeah. Like, but you got to see who, who, who is. I mean, you got that's that's Britain, that's Britain, that's the Queen, that's everything that we don't touch. You got to think about mm-hmm. stuff like that too. Uh-huh. Like we talk. only control. I just had this conversation just yesterday. We control, but so much. You got to realize if you're talking about other countries of propagandized and everything else, why wouldn't your country be also? What makes your country be the only the, the greatest superpower on earth? How? We're the only one that has regulations. We're the only ones that have to tell other countries they have to regulate whether they want to or not. Right. Right. Yeah, it all it comes wild. down really on a macro point of view. They look, beso- look past race, look past the humanitarian aspect of how... Because that's a humanitarian issue mm-hmm. with, human- with Haiti. It all comes down to money. Oh, yeah. Haiti don't have... What Haiti has? Sugar cane? You know what yeah, I mean? Like they, not, they ain't trying to help them. They gonna help us. Uh, us yeah, out. because they can't provide anything for them. It's always a give and take. Which is thing. a lie. Which is a fucking lie. They have. The they place. can build houses. That's all they, they do. They can help be a, a contribution system to the United States of America easily. In fact, if they America was can. really nice, the Queen didn't want nothing but else they but they the island. That. She didn't right. care about nothing else on that island but the island. Oh, you gotta right. understand that oh, we yeah. we just control a very small portion of things outside of. The whole the way we look at it in mean, our continent. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah. It's it's, it's kind of sad, but it's a repeated history. It's just like if Puerto Rico was, if they were trying to run over here, we can't keep them. We gotta keep them Puerto Ricans out. I, it's a repeated history. Like and that's why I say everybody need a vacation. Yeah. Look at all the pain and negativism going on with the with the fucking healthcare system. Even with somebody just wanting to come over here, and. Make a better living for their family. I'm. I wish Haitians could come over here freely. I mean, the, the island is how how far from the United States? I it's connected to the Dominican Republic. Oh, we. But see, nobody want to talk about. Really? Yeah. I know your geography. I I got that. I got <laughs> to know your geography, but it's just it's just sad. Like, I feel like everybody's going to be burning out every time I turn on the news. I'm like again. I'm never surprised anymore. Honestly, it's really not no surprise if everything right. is going on. I mean, ever since 9-11 happened, and I'll never forget, I was in fifth grade, and I saw, I'm not going to go too much into detail with that because I am on YouTube. But when ever since 9-11 happened, <laughs> I was looking like, is this real? Like yeah. After that, it just seemed like, you know. But we became closer after 9-11 for a portion of time. Don't forget that. Yeah, we, yeah. we came yeah, together we for real. I had I'd never seen... I'm 31. So mm. I, I remember seeing that in the eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, when that happened. Right. I right. lived so, in New York when that floor. happened. I remember seeing trucks, uh, 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 yeah, fire trucks and all that stuff Man. on the New like, Jersey I, Turnpike and all that You couldn't believe it. You couldn't believe stuff. it. Just like, watching it, you couldn't believe it. Coming from the South. Like, that joint was crazy. Like, but we came together. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I was down. We here. knew I had we had a common here. enemy. Now we look at each other as yeah. common enemies. How, how did that happen? Is, this is exactly well. Oh, that's a whole another subject. This is, I had an argument with one of my friends. You know who you are, and uh, he's Caucasian. We had an actually good argument. If anybody didn't know us, they, they would have they would have yeah. thought that we was really fighting each other. But anyway, um, he said, "Man." Black people always acting the most, they doing the most, y'all killing each other. And I had to sit back and really hear his perspective. Because he damn sure was going to hear mine. So I had to make sure, you know, I hear his perspective. I'm like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, you do got a point. However, what caused that to happen? What was the domino effect that led to black people killing black people? Or what the terminology like to use, black and black that. crimes? Yes. What was the causality? You you don't Why? want me to talk about redlining. Why you don't want to talk? You don't want me to talk about a uh, uh, section A, the separation from mm-hmm. the man from the household, the yeah. introduction of drugs in the community. Mm. Honestly, I like think nobody because, wanted to, for me to talk about that. I don't know. They put it in the system that we have to compete with one another instead of building one another. Like, R.P. You know to Nipsey. It's, it's, it's bigger than that. R. It R. really Nipsey. is bigger than that, but want, you got to... And duck. Like, you get what I'm saying? Build it's, up it's, from it. They, 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 they have it. This is how they have it now. And this is where, and I'm not, I'm not Muslim, but this is why I agree with Farrakhan. He said, he said, he was, he said, let me talk to my gang members out there. Honorable Minister Farrakhan. Honorable Minister, right? He said, let me talk to my. You know, I have a problem with my gang. The gangs out here, they are agents of the government. Agents, and I think like, oh shit, I'm thinking this is the fucking Matrix. Wait a minute, agents? Mm-hmm. Why he say that? 
The KKK can sit back, eat popcorn, and see black people destroy them, destroy each other over the concept of a blue flag and a red flag. Of red flag. Shout out to my bloods and crips. I ain't trying to throw no shade. Okay. You know what I mean? No, no <laughs> speak on it, though. Speak on it. Speak but on when it. you think about it, I mean, think about it. Mm-hmm. Granted, there's always an exception to the rule. I don't know why that one crip had to join the game to do the shit he, did, he okay. had to do. All or right. the blood. I don't know the storyline behind that. Mm-hmm. But I do know on the macro point of view, the KKK can sit back, eat fucking popcorn, and see black people kill And how long did it be- take for them to become a, a <sighs> domestic terrorist group? Huh. I think it was after the Black Panther Party. After the Black let's, Panther Party. But the Black Panther up. Party... Let's be factual. Well, let's let's be really factual. I'm happy you brought that up. I want to so hear the I SWAT team was facts. only built because of the indoctrination of the or the, the movement of the Black Panther Party. Of course. Because Correct. 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 of the storming of the uh the hat the SWAT team. Yeah. Think about that. Right. A whole team have to attack. And what the Black Panthers what did they are doing? The state they was making the sure they Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they Guns sure. and all. In it within law. And then they became a law where you couldn't come in federal buildings with guns. There was, there was yeah. Come on, man. Who Black are the biggest party? victims in this country? <laughs> I hear all the what time black said, black, black people are victims. Yeah. Who are the biggest victims? Look you didn't want black people in, in your restaurant. You want them separated. Uh, you don't want black people uh uh in your uh 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 voting. Uh, right. Who are the biggest victims? But the thing about it, well, <laughs> if you, what, you can what cry hurts, and get what you want in a minute. But what hurts me so bad. But we got to fight and die. What hurts me, how many people got to fight and die? Think about it. If shit couldn't change since Martin Luther King, and look now, you had some of the same shit occurring. But what's even more sad, but I really sat back and I realized where you can, I looked at the map, the geographical map of every Martin Luther King in this country. Like Martin Luther King Boulevard, Martin Luther King Street, it's in the, when you follow redlining, mm. and I need y'all to look that up. When you follow the maps of redlining, it's in every, it's in a hood where it's easy access to some form of drugs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Why is that? It's and not there coincidence. you go, right there. It's yeah. not coincidence. And there you go. I don't believe in coincidence. There you go. You know what I mean? So when, when I look at the the, form, the formalities of gang life, and when you live that life, you got you got to go through some shit. I understand that. But what makes me mad mm. is that the KKK can sit back and eat popcorn while my people destroy them. Right. So, I want to. I want to give y'all. I want to give y'all some facts. That though. hurt me. So, yeah, it's black on black crime. But if you really look at the crime rate, it's more white on white. That's true. White on white crime That's than it is black. But it's not even that though. It's where your proximity to violence is. Right. I don't see millionaires killing millionaires. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't no, see. They just get I don't. And I don't. More I don't yeah. see that. I don't see. I just wish why us black people can't be more. It's your proximity to violence. But, but, but even the most violent city in, in the country. Let's look at let's look at Chirac. Let's look at Compton, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Let's, when you look at the gang activity happening out there, and I'm hoping y'all see this. The gang leaders. What I'm talking about is: is there any way for y'all to actually sit down? Come together. I understand. Always, it already this happens. Is a lot. This is it's already. Hopefully, and I'm gonna speak from, from the from the from the legit. You already know. I'm, I'm big boss. Listen, all of that has happened. We've already done that. It's 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 never been about. It, it's individual tactics. It's it's never a group thing. Whenever right. anybody gets to beefing with another, it's never a oh, group tactic. It's always individuals. It's always renegades. It's always people that go outside the line stepping when they ain't no need to step. That's that part. Right, right. But your proximity to violence is where you get your statistic from because I don't see black people just going into a, a, a suburb murdering white people. No, you, ain't gonna you see won't that. see it. You ain't gonna see that. You no. won't. Yeah. No, but it's, it's, I just, and the thing I always have to always keep in mind is I want you to pay attention to your information. I want you to pay attention to your statistics and numbers. When I'm, even as I talk about black on black crimes, when we look at numbers and statistics, am I really actually being, am I being correct or am I incorrect? Where am I getting my source from? Right. I need y'all to start questioning where you get your source <laughs> And are your sources factual with their but you representation? Have to question, exactly. You got to question the source even for what other gets source. knocked under the rug. Because what I realize now in 2021 is that there is an informational problem. It's no longer such thing as a regular problem. It's it's, mm. it's where you get your source from. 
Mm. Because you hear rhetoric on one side, you got shit that's the, the separationalism everywhere. Party line separation, race separation, religion separation, I- ideology separation. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? I felt like a right. keyboard warrior. <laughs> I, had to sh- I had to shut down Facebook, man. Fuck Facebook. I'm sorry. I had to shut it down. <laughs> I, was, I was about to tell people where I live. Like, you can pull up on me, bro. Like, I got the Quran and everything, bro. I'm going to slap you to death with it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make You know what I'm saying? But continue, brother. But yeah, it's I, even now when I talk about the subject, I'm like, is racism really as prevalent as we like to believe? And I, the reason why I say that is the situation that George Floyd is sad. That was sad, right? R.I.P. But I'm gonna say this: I believe that the situation has happened much more it's so than what we think. It's authoritarian. Oh, somebody as far as putting their knee on somebody's neck for fucking nine minutes and twenty something seconds. I'm sad that I'm mad that I don't know the exact second. Right. But what I'm getting at is I think I, I think the media blows it up, but we also as the as the United States of America are not doing anything about it. Us as people. You know what I mean? Like what are we when you say even Black Lives Matter? Mm-hmm. Shout out to my nigga Izzy and Tim and all my people who who support that. Mm-hmm. I have to look back where the money is going at though. That's the whole point of my, the this, defunding. My mind, right. You got to think about this, though. That's right? the listen, whole point listen, of listen, that. Listen, but when you talk about Black Lives Matter, because I'm going to tell you why I don't agree 100%. Mm-hmm. If Black Lives Matter make them $25 million a month on average, if memory serves me right, I got my source from Google, which is a little bit shaky, too. But anyway. Right. Take, 20, it, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> $25 million a month. What's 25 times 12? You look at the worst, 10 worst neighborhoods in this country and why we couldn't help out those neighborhoods, why we couldn't have an educational system, why we couldn't have a scholarship system. Right. Find out what have a, Find out the source. And, policy. and who's making money po- policy. from this? I'm going to say that. And that's this, where we get the, the funding, though. Let me say this, then, from, from knowledge. That's mm-hmm. where right. I'm not going to speak on behalf of Black Lives Matter. I do. I, I respect and I know the, 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 right. the aspect of it. But you got to think. You, I mean, we got to push policy. People don't push policy. You want to think that, okay, we, we done protest, that's it. No, man. Everybody gets what they get because of the policies they push and the money that they put towards the people that are pushing the policy. Mm-hmm. If you don't do anything, don't expect to get anything. But why do you think LGBT came out so hard? Why do you think that the, 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 the Mexican community came out so hard? You were trying to put their people out and they right here. How? How? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we've been trying to keep a relationship right like that since God knows when, since we signed the treaty for them to right. be over where they at. And you disrespect them and slap them in the face like that, mm. Every the chickens come home to roost. Period. Mm. Period. That's facts. Dang. I just, it's, it's sad, though. Like, it, when I really think about it, I always have to follow the money, and I'm not lo- knocking Black Lives Matter at all because I'm, of course, I'm black. But if if, if it's not black helping, people, somebody, people, then somebody I'm making money from it, it. You know what I mean? It. Right, right. Yeah. You always gotta look at who's who's. When I when I see like certain news and shit, like because sometimes I feel like the media will gaslight shit and make you feel some type of way when you first see news. Like yeah. when I first when I first saw uh, the George Floyd situation, I was I was fucking I was in red for him. I am what I am like, you know what? What can we do other than cry and protest? Make a marching, policy, start mar- something, do something. Marching without a cause is ain't nothing but a big parade. Ain't nothing but a GoFundMe when black <laughs> marching, folks die. Ain't marching, nothing but a GoFundMe right, when right. black folks die. When I look around, y'all don't push no policy. How do y'all we, rather argue about it, not push no policy, and we, watch the next person come in and get their agenda done. How we push policy? We got to vote. You have to come to, no, not only vote, know what no, you, who you're voting for, for. No, and come to them, come to your representatives. I, I, you can, uh, I'll show you later on. I email Governor Cooper at least every three months, and I've had two things that I've asked him to do, and he did it. The first one I'm going to talk about, the, I asked him to find out the disparity on the, uh, on the uh, differences of black and white people and the convictions of marijuana. Next week, he had it out. Mm. Cooper? You don't if you don't yeah. ask, look it you like won't that? know. Out. You won't know. And the other Not one, Anderson I was sent Cooper from CNN, Governor Governor Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Shout out to Roy Cooper, and Shout I love him, love. and I will promote him to 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 hit the end of his tenure. And another thing, it was about the unemployment. But 
there's only so much we could. He pulled resources out of things we didn't we didn't even know we had, mm -hmm. just to make mm -hmm. sure that when they stopped giving y'all money, they gave y'all some extra money. Mm -hmm. Now think yeah. if we had Pat McCrory, a Duke Energy giver, uh, uh, giving he wouldn't even thought about y'all. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't even thought about Pat, you. But do me a favor, fall flat. <laughs> Straight up, he the like big like dick. That. <laughs> For real, yeah. Michael, my Cooper, and Cooper. Yeah, this whole time I thought Cooper was just no man. You got to look at the people that you're putting in the place. Michael, you black people did did me dirty when it came to this administration call. I ain't gonna lie, like y'all showed up more for Barack Obama than you did for the man that was sitting next to him. Mm. How? How? But guess what? You didn't pay for his policies. Say that one more time. Guess oh, what? Right. <laughs> Run that back, Turbo. You Say didn't pay for his policies. How do you no, how no. do you show up for Barack Obama and you ain't stand up for the man next Ooh. to him? Mm. <laughs> Let it yeah. set in. Dang. And it's it saddened me, but I showed up and I showed out and I did my thing. Proud. Proud. I feel like the can I ask you a question? I think. Republicans are more proud, prideful to be Republican than Democrats. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I yes. Know yes. That. Because yes. they can push whatever agenda they want. I noticed that. Whether I, the House now, is stacked granted, against them granted, or not. Granted, for me, I'm independent. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm almost borderline anti I'm green. I'm green. I don't like, I, I question Republicans and I question Democrats. And I'm going to tell you why. If I was designing a country and I gave you a formality of a two-party system, and I separate people to have confusion and to fight amongst each other. Exactly. I start thinking, this is not by accident. This is by design. And Shit. I don't want to be controlled or manipulated emotionally and I have to question everything. Granted, who am I? I'm independent. At the same time, I don't like Republicans. Right. And I don't like Democrats. But... but if there is a way to have a person, which is impossible, right. you can't be both, but if there's a way to be both, hey, I... Push who pushes your policy. Huh, you right. It all come down Push to who that. pushes your policy. I asked something simple. Just, just that. Like, you know what's going on out here. Probation is rampant. That's babysitting on crack. Like, these, these people are getting paid to sit back because they couldn't cut it on the street. Or the people just coming in because they got to actually train in there before they get put on the street so they can count as hours well, we, so you can become law enforcement. Yeah, you sit in front of a desk before you get in any action as an officer. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you got pay pro, pay pro uh, babysitting. Why? Mm -hmm. And and it's stacked up against you because the, yeah, black people are, are convicted on a higher rate. We've already seen it. Governor Cooper, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to know. I, dang, Cooper really holding it down like that. That's how we get. That's how we they get suits. Cooper, I ain't no that's how we get things done. We don't cry. We don't protest. We go out here and we push policies. We push. We push. Uh, uh, I like uh, that better. I ain't got time for yeah. protesting. But shout out to my people who actually do protest and actually try to make a change. There are people pro prime suing example, private privatization right now. Prime example is Tim Joyner. Tim, when you see this, shout out to you. Anyway. We need them protesters, though. That's what we still need. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. yeah stand yeah, out yeah. there, but don't just do that. Don't let it stop at, oh, man, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. Push the policy. <laughs> it's a lot of people. We be Damn, tired. he in the ground now. Oh, okay, we can go home. <laughs> Come on, I know how it is, man. I know black people. Come on, man. We so, got to so do more than that. Policy, what do y'all think about the situation? And I'm not throwing this up it's just because we have... A lady in our presence. I'm going to bring this up anyway. Okay. What do you think about the situation that's occurring in Texas? Um, is it Texas, I believe, with the abortion situation? If mm. if mm. if you help with somebody get an abortion, you can get sued. Yeah. If you get the abortion, you yourself can get sued, and the doctor can get sued. If an Uber driver drink, bring you to the abortion clinic, you can get sued. The Whoa. Uber driver can get sued. Any form of help. If anybody knows something, you can get sued. The Texas judge didn't uphold that yet? The Texas ju judge, uh, he, he struck it down and like, like it has yeah. to go to some Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah but it's struck down for it a certain time. It's struck down for a certain time. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Right. But the question is, this is what I have a problem with. <laughs> and I want you to like, judge me real quick. Now, I'm a man, right? I'm a man. Of course, y'all may not know that, but I'm letting y'all know that. If <laughs> I wouldn't want anybody to tell me what to do with my body, Right. No. So why should I tell the opposite sex what they could do with their body? And that's what it comes down to. But I still don't. I have the biggest it. problem with that. Like, 
Shout so, out to my, my, my for one, pro life. Hold on, it goes like, past you know I'm gonna send it uh, to I you. Say, you know I'm a, I'm, you know I'm gonna throw that ball to you, girl. You know I'm, a, you know I'm a, I got you, I got you. But I'm saying like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my wife to be like, well, you know, uh, I don't need you when you when you have a um, <laughs> when you have a. Uh, would you have? I wouldn't want to tell me what to do with my body. You know, can you imagine if females went to all the men to be like, you can't be ejaculating? <laughs> like, I know it's a little bit too much, but think about it. Or, like, technically, biologically speaking, sperm is alive, right? right? And if you want to be technical about it, there's millions and millions of sperms in in a, in a ejaculate in the ejaculation. I know it's so weird, but when you think about it, if a female told a nigga. What to do? You can't do that. You can't do this. We would be, we would win that protest. Hmm. So, and I'm not, I'm not justifying it. I just don't think it's any of the men business to tell them what to do with their body. Now, hmm. I'm going to kite this to you, sis. What do you think about okay, it? Okay, so for one, I am pro-life, but I'm also pro-choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. You can't tell her what to do. Can't. Honestly, if I can't tell not now one of y'all what to do, <laughs> Please don't. You get what I'm saying? And we're it's not... just a form of respect, honestly. Right. But then, at the end of the day, I am pro-life, so I, mean, but I wouldn't be, if, recommend if, it. Yeah. If but... abortion becomes illegal, back in the early 1900s, 1800s, and 1700s, oh my gosh. But then I mean, you have... look at the ways they was doing abortion, dude. It, it almost killed, it but killed I it feel kill like female. then you have uh, child neglect. It'll be an increase on child neglect. And all that other stuff, like, I, and suppose some of the females out there who've been raped or suppose right. they had incest going on or some shit like that. You know and what I mean? Like, mm. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It feel like a sticky, sticky subject. But at the end of the day, I, me personally, I don't care. Hmm. Freedom of choice, freedom of speech. Freedom of choice, freedom of speech. And my, my concept is, it's just, for me, I feel like it's no male business to be telling them, hey, I don't need you to, you can't do this or that. That's your body. Like, you right. Know what I mean? And I feel like if every man, like every male judge or anybody that's trying to push it, if they look back and say, hey, I don't want her to tell me what to do, so don't tell her what she can and cannot do. What you think, TK? Man, I think it goes to two things, to be honest. Church and state. Two things that they say didn't come up, but you have to say one nation under God. Uh, <laughs> Individual And it comes down to what scientists already know 2030 mm. Look it up mm. Look that up <laughs> The population as it is Is said in 2030 That the population will be Color folks over non-color folks yes. And like that's That's, well, that's supposed to be 2050, but it's, it's That's it's definitely Actual fact So Yeah that's that's definitely true What you think Mama Jamal? I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is. It he is wanna true. tell us what to do. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wanna tell us what to no, do. No, no. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> uh, honestly, is. though, it's like, you know, like, I guess I'd be pro life too, because, like, at the end of the day, you can't really. Of course. You know what I'm saying? You can't really just, you know, if that person wanna do that with their body, then, you know, that's all that they want to do with it. Like, so you lean pro choice also? Yeah. Uh, right. Pro life and pro choice. It's like, it's like, how can you? So think about it. Like he said, like back in the day, I mean, people was doing stuff. And they used, Where have you seen an abortion pretty, in pretty, the Bible? No, I'm saying, I'm saying you back You haven't. In, okay. Thing, so like I said, a place where we separate church and state, and but you say one nation under God and you don't see it in the, why would we expect any different? Mm. Right. And according to what they already know, why would you expect any different? <laughs> what scientists have already proven to be fact, why would you expect any different? They want to preserve their life, their way of life. That's why you have the storming. That's why you have all of this. I'm not, I'm not blind to it. What is I know what, what the, the underlying factors are. It's right, their way right, of life. You're right. messing. You took the statues. They cried. You told them they couldn't have their own children in their own schools. They cried. Now they stormed the Capitol. Now they wanted to implement whatever they wanted and why, and everybody watched. Now watch as they all walk away. 
I mean, they already got getting some already getting. I'm uh, just hitting y'all with up. with facts. I mean, that nobody <laughs> getting any form of real. Uh, what what they what this, the capital situation is high treason. And nobody got treated as such. And they're all, guess what? Wait, 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 wait. Not even that. They're all ducking subpoenas from the Congress. Mm. Now let anybody else do that. I swear to God, because you can't even walk See what jail they end up in. You can't even walk in. They're walking away from Congress subpoenas. Hold on, I ain't getting my point. Hold on. (laughs) Please, brother, please. Y'all don't skip me. Because I was scared he was nervous. I'm in it. I'm ready. What's your point, So look, I got three points. Three points. Now, one, I'm pro choice. You feel me? I, it's the little baby. You feel me? It's the little baby. Okay. But listen, if you want to do that, you got it. Okay. That's that's on you. Okay. Secondly, so you mean you pro life? Yeah, I'm pro life. I'm pro life. I'm, yeah, I'm pro life. But I'm also pro choice. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, right. It's, yeah. It's her, that's you, right. It's her body. It's her body. Me? Like yes, whatever you. Because if it was up to, I support Plan B. Absolutely. B's. Okay. <laughs> but you but wait a minute now. Let's try to get. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just thought about something. I just thought about something. But listen. How how can you the take reason, that? Oh, listen, please, the please, reason please, why please. I say I support plan B's is because yeah. you taking if you if you stop abortions and all that, look how many miles you stop feeding as well. Right. Because don't front like the black people not at that counter. That's the you well, know we're resilient. I mean, you know what I mean? We resilient, brother. I, no, no, yeah. I know we resilient, <laughs> but you also I look how many times. What else have you taken away from you taking another thing? You feel me? Yeah. Like, you also taking away education from us too now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because now you take it, it's no need for the abortion. So why am I going to go to school for that? You know what I mean? Because is you have to go to school. I'm you with you. I mean? I'm you with you. Me? I'm with you. Thoroughly. I'm a hit. So I'm that would be, the, but I'm, that I'm would a, be in the the, the, the choice set. You right. know what I'm saying? And, but wait, don't let me forget this. If they could tell, if they could tell a woman this right now, and they're already passing laws that's already telling women they can't even tell you, legally tell you how they've been raped. Think about that. That women are yes, well, yes. That's they're true. going to the that's point where you can actually say if you've already consensuated sex in some form, you can't stop sex. It's not considered a rape, which is crazy. Just ridiculous. Come so, on so, now. So you mean to tell me if I there's some states I, he's, he's right about this. If I'm having sex with a woman and she turn around and be like stop. I need you to stop and I keep going by definition that should be considered rape. Come on there's man. There's some states that are like no you already consented and so therefore it's not but you just said stop. No it's, it's rape. By it's that right time. Once time. I say Suppose no, I no hurt. means no, sir. There's many factors. I mean, think about when it comes... Anyway, I don't want to talk about too much of these. But anyway, yeah. It's really terrible. It's it terrible. Sad. It is sad, but... Yeah. No yeah, means bro, no. But no think, think no. about what I just said. It's their preservation. Think about what I'm saying. You, you're looking at the top layer of it like it's all sweet. It's their preservation, man. Right. right. Yeah. They're trying yeah. to preserve their race. They're trying yeah. to preserve who they are. They're trying to make sure that they don't get faded away. You will not replace us. Well. Come any, on, man. If anybody it's who's about a to happen. in chief who stated, and I'm not picking sides, I'm just saying, if you have a commander in chief who say, Stand, stand back, back and stand, stand by. by. I'm ready, boy. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I said... Shout out to Brother hell? Islam. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Gosh. Um, but I'm not surprised anymore. The reason why I'm not is because if you understand... Um, if you, I don't know what religions y'all represent, but if you look at it uh, in a perspective of Christianity, and you look at America as a whole... You just look at you look at people as a whole, even from a even from an Islamic perspective, it's a lot of negativism. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that, that goes you against go anywhere. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff that goes against God in both religions all the time. I then when you add then when you add the component of when let's say we take religion out, it's a lot of unhappiness happening. This is why I say everybody need a fucking vacation. I went to this Mission Barbecue. Shout out to Mission Barbecue. Mm. I went over there. The girl who served us, awesome person down to earth, give it to. You know who you are. But the thing about it was she's unhappy. You working that hard? Get a vacation. Yeah. One of my, my manager, you make two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. You know who you are. Get a vacation. 
You Man. haven't had that some like you can't she afford that. Me two dollars. <laughs> but, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're telling people right now you can't afford that. Think about that. People are not going to work because they're not being afforded a ways you can live on. And I respect that thoroughly. And they're finding out more and more every day that they can become their own self entrepreneurs. Mm. Huh. Really, really. I think everybody grants, federal grants. Let me say this: federal grants, please. Black women, especially. Everything oh, is black, open to you right now. Black females on a, on a vibe. Everything is open to you right now. They have federal the grants where they're giving women, if it, with everything already in order, a, a prospectus and all, a way where you can get a federal grant to start your own business. Mm. It, it, it's there. It's there for you. But you know the problem I see with a lot of people, bro? It's a lot of people with jellyfish. They just want to go with the flow. They don't want to make sacrifice. They or a lot of pain. doubting. They doubt themselves. They doubt themselves. Or, or allow others to do doubt yeah, them. Yeah. Or... To, I mean, you think I have, I have family members. You can't do this. You can't do that. Mm-mm. And then when you do it... That's why I tell you, I'm... Everybody wants you to do good. Black, whatever y'all want to do, all the... Yeah, pro all black. The people that black look like me out there. Whatever y'all want to do, I support you. I tell people all the time, I don't know. They tell me what they do. I'm proud of you. Nobody told you that I'm proud. They proud of you. I'm proud That's of right. you. You got to build none, people up. I don't want none. I don't want, even at the table, I don't want none of y'all motherfuckers. And I don't mean, mean that in a negative. Not you, sis. I don't want none of y'all niggas to be doing good at all. I want all of y'all to do great. It's a big difference. You know what Respect I mean? True. And, Respect and the thing about it is, Respect there's a lot of people who, who really don't mean... They want you to do good, but the moment you start doing better, they don't start hating. No, I want y'all. I want all of y'all to be millionaires. Yeah. That way, I can hold two dollars from you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. I got you. I got two dollars. Once y'all become millionaires, I need twenty. Two dollars. Twenty. A smooth twenty. I don't even want. I don't even want no money. Y'all, if y'all come millionaires, look, we gotta uh hey. come up with another uh contingency plan on making more millions. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how that's you build said, generations. Let's secure well, the let's bag. Come and get huh. more millions. Like, Don't wait the next year. Make this year you secure the bag. Please secure the bag. I, I hate seeing that end of the year, y'all. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. Secure the bag right now, man. Everything is open Don't make to a you. New Year's resolution. Make Please. A, res- a resolution right now. for yourself. <laughs> and I want everybody to support their friend, their fellow, anybody that wants to do something, please support them. Absolutely. My best friend, she opened up two businesses. I'm her number one supporter. I am an unpaid manager. You know how that feel? Broke. But I, I'm Until, still gonna, I'm still gonna go there. out there. I still go out there and hand out her business cards. The support if, is there. Excuse me. Sorry. So what's the business if name? If anybody want any gems on their teeth, my best friend does teeth whitening and Ow. teeth gems. Her um business is called Gemini Gems, and she has a cleaning company. It's called Sweet Dust Clean LLCs. Plug them up. Y'all house, house is clean, business clean, oh, anything. Okay, okay. Plug them up. Yep. Now, you she, know, I like to do business interviews. So, see, this is how you know sis don't love me. This is a damn shame. She going to talk about something. She must have just opened. She just opened her cleaning company. Okay, I'll let that slide. Let Which that slide. she did. She been doing gyms for a while. But okay. she taught me how to do them. So, if y'all want me to do them, I'm not a licensed person. Girl, if you ain't licensed, I need them L's. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I know how to do them. <laughs> for real, I did my teeth. You did yours? Oh, okay. that's oh, what that is. I was seeing. Yeah, is she gleaming? She gleaming? Okay, okay. okay. All right. Mm-hmm. I, I can see myself having one. Dominant in my grip. <laughs> nah, I couldn't rock that. My teeth too big. I, I ain't. I already got a gap. That's all the that muscle the tension right there. You know what I mean? It's all right. I'll be I fool around, around and swallow it with some chicken. <laughs> 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 that's fly, though. That's, that's fly. fly. That's fly. I, I don't know if I get away. I, I don't know if I, I got the swag. It's all right. Hey, but do she clean apartments though? Cause she I'm does. a, cause I'm a bachelor. It'd be hard out here. It's all right. <laughs> right now we're working on her again, like construction cleans and um, fish tables. I don't know if y'all know the arcade tables. Yeah, uh, okay, work. She's doing those right now. Once again, I love you, sis, but I am an unpaid manager and an employee. Okay. What's her name? Samantha Miller. We get into the bag. You know we get into the are. bag, Sam. No. Huh. Sam. Sam, okay. Sam, I am. Well, hopefully, one of these days in the future, I get to do an interview. But anyway. You can. Interview. She's going to come down here. I'm oh, going to get okay. her to come down here. Okay, okay. Look at you networking. See I'm trying. I told you I am her manager. Okay, girl. Oh. 
She named it, oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, it's so I think everybody needs a damn vacation. Like yeah. I know it's I need important. One. It's important. I need I need I'm I'm gonna think next week, probably not next week, but within two weeks I'm gonna have a vacation. I gotta go to New York to see my dad anyway. That's not really a vacation, that's just going home. But... Bring me back a beef pad. <laughs> No, with the cocoa bread too. The cocoa yeah. bread, huh? Beef had it with the cocoa <laughs> bread. Little slice, oh, of, che- little slice of cheese. Little slice of cheese. That's how we rock it. Is it chopped cheese? You say chopped cheese. Chopped cheese. Girl, what you know? I, ain't I don't never know had nothing one, about but that. I want one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. I want you to like, subscribe, share. Rosif, brand new. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, So, you didn't you do a march? Yeah, yeah. Um, Last year, I think it was last year or the year before that, uh, it was the 50th anniversary of the I Have a Dream speech, which was totally cool. Like, uh, I happened to be there, which was now the the Black Lives Matter march. Right. Uh, the joint was fire, man. It was the C, uh, I think it was like 100,000 people. Mm, uh, wow. We literally, it was like, fit, I know... Um, they took the picture and they had the like the top part of it, like when Martin Luther King uh, did the speech, and uh, and they had the bottom picture, which mm. was the one that we were at. I know Word. that the picture showed that we were we outnumbered the the first one. Like it was it was people in the water and everything. Like Yo, it was amazing man. just to see like, and that was like during COVID too. Like and to see like to know that nothing's gonna stop, stop. that. Us black pandemic, people, pandemic. like that was crazy. Yeah, like yeah. to yeah. see that. Like Definitely. I'm thinking, like, oh, it's gonna, you know, it's a pandemic, so you know, it's not <laughs> no, gonna like, be too no, many no. people. That's history, right man. There. It was all day, like history, it, all yeah. day, yeah. like, and then I literally marched like from like that podium right there straight to uh, the Martin Luther King statue. Uh, if y'all ain't never been to DC, yeah. y'all need to do that. Like mm, for right. real, speaking it's of nice. vacations nice. and all that, we like, built that. You can go to DC mm. and literally eat at black-owned restaurants. You know, that's right. And see the historic parts of DC. Like that is just a beautiful place. Like I'm gonna throw a monkey wrench at that statement though. From DC to Philly to New York, all up to Virginia line, y'all fucking roads is trash. When I was in the AT club, what True. the fuck? DC roads is trash. Still hurt. <laughs> DC roads is trash. Hey, hey, but your ass is doing 80, 85 in that motherfucker though. DC Very roads true. is trash, and that's crazy because the White House is there. Like, why? Why are the roads? We that rolling bad? in that like, motherfucker though. And then what's crazy is the way the White House is. Like, it's literally like. Uh, like literally like four blocks from the hood. The streets like, are so crazy yeah, there like, though. The streets are crazy. Yeah, like you can like make the wrong turn and you for real be messed up. For man. real. Like, for, real. Like, I'm for real, man. Like crazy? the streets are the crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They are wild, bro. You yeah. ain't never seen no roads like Washington got, bro. Ever, bro. That's very true. Right? Yeah. So the White House is for the hood. Yeah. And I don't like right. came in there. The damn well, stoplight on the, the same side right you are. Street from the White House. <laughs> yeah. Capital, yeah, you ain't yeah, never yeah. seen no shit like that. That was crazy. Like, <laughs> wow. But it was amazing to see that, uh, see that man. And then uh, we marched to the Black Lives Matter Plaza. Yeah, and we was there yeah. all night, man. If I That's had a barbecue crazy. grill, I'd have been out there barbecuing <laughs> chicken and all that. <laughs> but right. making some turkey, <laughs> yeah, making turkey, turkey burgers, burgers and all that. We had. The flick of the- <laughs> But yeah, it was amazing. You know, uh, shout out to everybody who is fighting and uh, fighting the injustice and That's the right. justice. You know what I mean? It's so much more that we got to do. Like, and you just got to keep pushing. I know it be shit going on in the neighborhood and you want to give up and all that. Like, trust me, you can make it out. You feel yeah. me? Like, you right. just got to stick out, stick it out through the mud. Mm. Facts, facts. And um, I ain't gonna lie. That's real. That's history, Chief. Yeah. Damn, I want. I wish I knew that. I wanted to go. I sound all jealous. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And they got the Smithsonian there too. Mm, like yeah, that's just, beautiful. Yeah, that's just open. Like, like, yeah, like a year yeah, yeah. Beautiful. The Smithsonian is crazy, and it's got like yeah. levels of history. Like you could, it's kind of foul. But if you start from the bottom, it's terrible. Like, 
it really shows you like how bad it open we, up a and it makes you feel it. Though. Yeah, like it, they put you in you, the small space uh, of yeah, it and right, everything. Right. They make and you, you feel go it. Up yeah. each level and then that it feels like it literally make you feel My proud to be proud to be at. black yeah. in America. Absolutely, yeah. okay. I, I, I had the pleasure of going, and I'd suggest that anybody I that can everybody make go. a pilgrimage to I it. Need please, to go. everybody needs need to go. go. But I know. It was beautiful at the at the end of it. It was beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah. it was. Yeah. It's um, it's actually sad if you don't have any form of uh, humanity in you, and you don't you don't have one tear, then you're something wrong. Because I heard from what I've seen, how it's lined up, yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's deep. Absolutely. Oh, if no. you felt some type of a lot of black, black people either. took Bottom their time out. Cry. You a lot cry. of black people took their time out to, yeah. to put a lot of things in there that that most people wouldn't even know if or be able to see. When my mom passed. If you don't cry, you ain't black if you go to listen to this only in life for real. I had to wait a week and a half to actually bury my mom for my aunt to go out there and see it because she made up a, an appointment. And um that's a different perspective. But I was, you know, I, I waited a week. I'm pretty sure if the roles were, was reversed, she wouldn't have waited for me. But it's not like I'm throwing shade. But I wanted her to actually see, go to that. Go. She she had tickets. You can't like just change up the ticket. You got to wait a whole another year. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, but I wanted her to see uh, what, what what struggles that a lot of our ancestors had to go through. And it's it's right. a great sadness, really. If you really think about it, I mean, from what the books you read and the TV you see about it. That only cover the surface. They ain't, I mean, what? Get, that's like, right. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. You have no idea. So. But my struggle is my struggle <laughs> isn't from how we got here to here. It's what happened after we got here. I hear so much about black people need this, black people need that. Black people were efficient when we were let go. Black people were efficient when we were let go. How else do we have Black Wall Street? How else do we have the first government, uh, the first uh, uh, black uh, government uh, 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 voted in government uh, right here in Wilmington? Right. We had all of that. We had it Which until is- they got tired, until they yeah, cried. That is a until fact. they protested and they killed people. How do we get? <laughs> Use a real, yeah, use a real like Wilmingtonian. Man, he is a real Wilmingtonian. You That's use a real Wilmingtonian. Uh, use a real Wilmingtonian because you know that about that. Yes, uh, absolutely. That, uh, that uh, all black justice the joint. That's you right. You really gotta be That's from right. here to know that. And I'm not even from here, and I know that. That's right. Know that he know that. That's right. crazy. Wilmingtonian to the heart. That's right. I got put some respect. We know. I mean, it's the only place that actually had what's called a, a true coup. A true takeover. You know what I a mean? A takeover. A uh, massacre. massacre. Let's, right, call, let's right. call it what it is. I mean, it's a, a sh- massacre. Right, right. Y'all could call it a school shooting, a school shooting, and anytime y'all feel like a mass, whatever. Right. That was a massacre. Right. You you, you sent people swimming across the Cape Fear River, drowning, dying. I mean, people dying right there in their homes because they were too proud to leave. Mm. I will never hold a tongue to the truth. That's very true. I'm only going to hold light. It's a great sadness, though, because I feel like it happened before in Texas. It happened before in Alabama. It happened before in Tennessee. It happened before in Georgia. It happened before in New York. I mean, it's... it's Does not history not repeat itself? But history has a form of... The thing is, <laughs> history has a form of repeating, repeating itself. Okay. So much so that people don't want to go back and really learn about the history. Is y'all talking about the race riots? Yeah. yeah. That too. Yeah. yeah. Y'all talk about, I, I just, you know, I just want to. Absolutely, it's a great sadness. I mean, I'm not surprised anymore. My my grandma actually said, uh, so like when this was going on, um, my grandma stayed in a historic house downtown, so she remembers seeing houses being set on fire. You know, hearing gunfire. You know, like oh, RIP, RIP, my my grandma. Oh, my, my grandma. Yeah, man, she she uh. And they told me like it was like around like my granddad, That's right. my granddad Elijah Williams. That's was, right. Uh, he was in World War II. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they like, try to make you think that you don't re- that you can never remember your history, but you got to remember my grand my ancestors lived through that. Yeah. My, and then not that far back. Yeah, my really great grandmother was a, was the daughter. Let me highlight of, like this though, real quick. Let me ask yeah, you y'all about to get mad at me though. of a sharecropper. I, absolutely. I I. I I believe that some of the statues, them racist ass statues, I want that to actually, some of them to be up. And I'm going to tell you why. Before you actually counter me, I'm going to tell you why. 
history has a weird way of forgetting and repeating itself. Yeah. I need my son to realize what environment that his forefathers, his family members, and people that look like him had to go through mm-hmm. 25, 45, 85, 185, Never forget. 400 years ago. Never forget. Some stat- I ain't gonna lie. If you go to take down these statues, all right, all right. I want them to be put in a museum. I want the history, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm-hmm. Because to tell American story, you have to get yeah. The good, the bad. But when do losers get trophies? Mm. I mean, when you look at Germany, I don't see them. When do trophies. losers get trophies? <laughs> what na- what <laughs> Nazi statue <laughs> did they exactly. put up in Germany? <laughs> what what losers got trophies? But they have museums though. What losers got they, trophies? Well, though? listen, they have the museums so the history won't get repeated. That's what I'm talking about. You could put it in this in the museum, but when you put it in front of people, that's that's making a, a whole situation. You it don't is. forget things. That's like me hanging a rope outside with a, a, a noose outside. A noose, that's very right. But everybody that's right. black is going to be offended. Why? It's a noose. It carries a connotation. I want, I want the, all the You statues, don't forget anything. I agree with you a trillion percent. All the statues and neg- negative Im- imagery and shit, put that in the museum. Let the history be there because I want the people to know the good, the bad, the ugly. There's a lot of stories that are not being written. But somebody's writing it right now as we speak. You know what I mean? True. Like, and it's a lot of stories people ain't even don't really know about. Don't really know. But you got but critical cousin, race theory right now, trying to have tr- with them trying theory. to tell you that you can't even talk about what they did in the actual methods of what how they critical, did it. Critical race theory. That's a problem. Yeah, they want you to say shit. this. This is what that's critical race problem. theory want you to do. They by not talking about it. It's like, well, if you don't talk about race, it's not gonna be I bad. wasn't a racist. It's my gonna... my parents were never racist. I never owned slaves or nothing. That's how that keeps going. It's going right, right. Your parents were slave owners. Let be honest. If you so patriotic, draping the flag, be honest about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's be honest. Everybody, I'm not saying everybody in the world has slaves, but guarantee that that a, a black person was working under you. Let's Somewhere. be honest about it, though. Somewhere, some shape or form, faction. Even if they, even if no black person worked under you. Did you help to help the situation of black people? Probably not. Um, Let's be honest about it. I think on critical race theory is one thing that I have to question is do you like the only thing that critical race theory got right is this media literally gets they they views they get they they marketing and money Mm -hmm. from Letting the world know on everything that's racist, in a sense. But I don't like the way they do it. There's plenty of white people, Asian people, other different type of ethnic backgrounds of people doing violence. But mm-hmm. every time I turn on CNN or, or Fox News, y'all want to show a black man did this. That's the first. Show a black man Not that. last like they do the now, white that, folks. First. Right, right. So that, first. that, that critical race theory is like, all right, so you only try to highlight this. I don't. Y'all don't say it's not race. It is a race situation. It is. It's propaganda. It, and when you can get through with people with propaganda, it's easy after that. Mm. It's easy after that. All you can be pitting in together. Why? Because blacks. Right. Mm. Oh, <laughs> think about Which is it. why I respect Japan. <laughs> it's a lot of propaganda going on right now. Poor Japan. It's a lot of propaganda going on right now in Japan. Um, my, my Japanese people, they, they ain't listening to their government like that. They know their government full of shit. The people screaming you know that I mean? we're, that there is no race the loudest always says blacks. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. It's a great sign. That's because we so powerful. But let man. me ask you this. Since you're a woman Tony. <laughs> it's crazy. Because we powerful. <laughs> right, really right. Think true. about it, man. You a woman Tony and man. Yes, Lord. What's, you got some stories. I know you got some stories. Give me some stories, man. Okay. Uh, tell us tell from let the me, trap. Yeah, tell from, give me a tell from the trap that's going on. Oh. Or that has happened. Man. And I'm going to give you, if you don't know, I'm, let me start off on this, though. That situation that occurred all over the news in Wilmington, North Carolina, that we just talked earlier. If, if you even want to revisit it. If you don't, you can speak Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. That's a lot. That's a lot to actually revisit. Rest in peace, Cordrees. That's a gangster. Real talk. Yeah. Rest in peace. Mm. And, and I had the pleasure, the pleasure and the honor of being, uh, being among him. Uh, uh, like a, on a day, you know, where where he left his place, mm. and being being that that happened randomly, I 
like I said, I was on uh, 6th Street hanging out in a place where normally G's don't uh, congregate. Uh, he pulled up on the block and I saw him, got on point, made sure, you know, he was all right. Everything, you know, it was good while he was there. He got back in the car and left out. And I had the 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 the, the worst. Uh, one o'clock in the morning, getting the call. Oh, I think it was like two or three, something like that. Right. I woke up. They're talking about man and homie gone. Like we ain't getting to nothing else other than that. And mm. it was just it hurt. It hurt. They they, they even hear it because it was That's real close, real close. That's a lot. It's sad that 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 situation happens like that, man. And I had I hear stories like that so much all over the country. In the world too, the world is worse, but just all over the country about some shit like that happening. And then my whole thing is, I mean, biblically speaking, I understand why. You take you take a religion away, you t- the fact of religion is like, damn, does it really have to happen like that though? Man. You know what I mean? There's so many stories floating around, man. Like I'm not even going. I don't. You don't have to. Yeah, 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 to yeah, 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 yeah. Into it. That's that's just that's too much. But, that's yeah. a lot. But That's so uh, I've, I've I've been told that the people you know you know things been handled you know uh, as far as the law wanted it to so right, we're gonna leave right. it to so them like right. to handle that yeah mm. but definitely definitely many stories tell us from the trap hopefully I can come back with the grade eight well, oh yeah oh you know yeah oh saying? yeah give, give me you got give me a t- give me a little give me a little piece of the pie real quick before we actually <laughs> I'm gonna just say this and 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 I love that you guys had me on because this is one step to further to what I was trying to do. I was in the in talks, you know, with my old lady and everybody because she get the first, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> say so. Can I tell my story? Communication is key in every yeah. successful relationship. Can I tell my stories? Because, you know what I'm saying, being from here, seeing everybody and being amongst real people, real people, i never be able to forget. Could I tell the story? And she said, it'd be no better time. You know what I'm saying? So I took, I took a great advantage of that and I appreciate that. Better now than ever. And I want to definitely say, uh, with, if I come back and tell some more stories, I'm gonna be talking about my homie, Aunt Lampley Weezy. That's my homie. That's my that's my dog. You gonna hear about him a lot. That's a man I lost in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? So whatever I can tell, I'm gonna tell to his daughter. She's she's who he left. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Born one homie, day before right. me, actually the same year he was he passed. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Rest in peace. Right, right. So, uh, and and Tony, whatever I can give you, I'm gonna definitely give you. And I guess I'll give him a story while I'm here. When I first met him, I was not off of the porch yet. I was about, maybe about 14. Okay, yeah, a little young buck. 13. Young, young, but let young, me tell you something. Young whippersnapper. <laughs> young whippersnapper. <laughs> I met a lion. I mean, I met a lion. I mean, man, when I tell you the light skin, uh, at the time he was about maybe about five foot good, maybe about maybe a little something. He he wasn't telling no different. Little but, buck, yeah, man, little man, lights get bad, man. Had a tune on him, man. You just didn't know what was up with him, man. My brother used to be like, man, and trying to you know, and trying to holler at you. I'm like, man, I don't know about dude. You know what I'm saying? He he, he different. Uh-huh. So so I met the homie and straight from Alabama, Dothan. Man, okay, okay, shout out. I'm okay, telling you, okay, heart, of, heart of a lion. You ain't never, I ain't, man, the only person I seen like that was Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like live man. wire straight up for real. Like, and uh, man, I, I, I pulled up on him one day. I said, yeah, man, you know, my little brother's telling me to come hang, you know, come check you out, see what you got going on. He said, man, fuck all that shit, man. You don't smoke, do you? Say, damn. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't smoke nothing. No, you know what I'm saying? I, at the time, I'm like, man, I'm in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh-huh. on the porch. You know what I'm saying? I don't do nothing. He's like, man, you damn. You you, you too green. You, you can't fuck with me like that. You, yeah. <laughs> you too green. You one of them. And I'm like, yo, how old are you, shorty? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he you younger than me. So I'm like, damn, shorty, this little nigga. Really? This nigga is <laughs> He's too green. So he took me You're out green, one day. Though. Yeah. <laughs> He took me out one day, you know what I'm saying? And I, it, something about him, I just couldn't figure out. He always had a black band down on him. And I'm just like, man, what the fuck he got going on? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So a uh, little guy, know, he took me in the park one day. This first time I ever smoked a blunt. I'm sorry, mama, I got to tell it. <laughs> man, we sitting on the slide. You know what I'm saying? We young, so sitting on the slide. He like, yeah, man, make sure ain't nobody coming. I'm like, for what? He was like, hold on, let me split this Philly. Man, split the Philly. So he had a Philly. Shout out to the Philly niggas. 
Philly, man. Hey, I ain't hey. heard Philly in a while. Good God. Man, pat that bitch with the good calm butt, man. Roll that motherfucker up, man. Said, all right. Mm. Told me like the motherfucking movie, nigga. <laughs> I know you don't smoke, but you won't get high <laughs> with me today. <laughs> Straight up. That's what, he, that's what he said. He said, you won't get high with me today. That's funny. That's like real. that bitch hit it two times. I hit that motherfucker two times. I said, all right, pass that motherfucker back. He said, nah, <laughs> hit it two more times. I said, mm. shit, let me hit that bitch two more times. Pass it back. Nah, hit it two more times. <laughs> I, I, done forgot, I, done, I done forgot I done hit the motherfucker about three, four times oh. now. He done, yeah, so I'm, I'm I lit. I get high, I get high. So he's like, I'm about to go to the house. All right, cool. You going to your crib? He said, yeah. Man, I walk in the house, dead hit the flow. Like, dead hit the flow. <laughs> like, I try to play it all so smooth. Like, yeah, I'm walking in. Little nigga ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Man, dead hit the flow. <laughs> Man, I woke up, knocked on that nigga garage like, he opened the garage. I'm like, man, what the fuck you gave me, bro? <laughs> I'm about to sleep in the mall. He like, you all right? You like that, don't you? Uh -huh. I yeah. No, I, see no. you the, I see you at the bus out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's that story, I see you at the bus yeah. out tomorrow. I got plenty more of the games. So I definitely want to tell that story. Like uh, I said, for Antonia, how we met. I'm going to say another thing, you know, while I got the, while I got the air, if you don't mind. Like, I want to just, just go ahead and Revision something. I lost my man in 2012. Killed it so. Mm. And did so in front of me and my company and my company only. Mm. Now I want to say this and I'm going to let it, I'm going to stay at this. I love my brother. I did everything for my brother. And I stayed by my brother's side while everybody else was talking. Mm. Now if you want to talk, mm. I'm here. You don't want to talk and run your motherfucking mouth, I see you wherever you at. And I'm gonna leave it at that. It's a lot. Tales from the trap. Tales from the trap. That is. I ain't gonna lie. Um, before I start wrapping this episode up, I do want to visit something. Suicide has been rampant since what? For the past decade, it's been rampant, but ever yeah. since COVID, it's been oh on my rise. gosh! And then the veterans, it's like times ten. The veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I always tell everybody is. Talk to somebody. Yes. Vent to somebody. Talk to I somebody. I definitely had to. Have Always have a person that you talk to that's not going to reveal your shit, that's not going to snitch, that's not going to say da 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 da. You got to vent. You got to talk to somebody. Got to. It's have that important. human connection. It's very, very important. You know, it. I know somebody who, me and Aaron, shout out to my producer, DJ Barbarian. We lost somebody on suicide. And granted, I may have not have been close to that person. I wish he talked to somebody. Even to this day, it doesn't make sense. He got a new whip. He got him a fly ass girl. He just went to college. New clothes, new kicks, and then you just never know what somebody mentally is going. People through. wanted spiritual me to die. Ballot. You know what right. I'm saying? People right. wanted me to die, man. Right. And I love y'all for real. Right. If I ever said I had love for you, it'll never go away, people. But man, I had mm. after after that happened to me, I ain't gonna stun. A lot of things happened, and a lot, and I took a lot of cases, especially for that person. So when I say when uh, with all everything in my being, I was with that motherfucker two years in a row, every day in the trenches, even when we were starving. Mm. That's that. That's my brother. Talk to somebody. It's like my it's, brother. You when you could have reached out to me, all you did was talk to the motherfucker next to you. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. You could have touched me. Mm. And I gave you a chance to touch me. Anybody who has any suicidal thoughts, I want you to call that 1-800-SUICIDE-HOTLINE number. Now, granted, it may sound cheesy as fuck, nah, but, but utilize it. Real. Utilize yeah. it. For real. Really, 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 Cause really. Because you got to think, it didn't end when he ended his life. I had My life had to go on. Mm. Mm. And you had to have that what's called pain. For that real. that that Crying uncontrollably out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't pain. tell you about that in a song, motherfucker. They don't tell you, no. That's real shit. That's street shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I had to bury my brother, motherfucker. And then I had to bury my daddy on the 12-12-12. Mm. I couldn't cry about that. I had motherfuckers trying to gun me down. Mm, that's a lie. I want you to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and tell me what other subjects we talk about. And have you lost somebody? How did you deal with that type of trauma? Now, my advice to you, dealing mm. with that trauma, the best thing you're doing right now is even talking about it. Mm. You know what I mean? I think everybody needs counseling. Everybody. 
that's a lot to actually process. I mean, granted, I lost one of my best friends in my hand. He died in my hands on a drive-by. And I don't do counseling. I think I need it. Mm-hmm. Everybody need it. So I need to start practicing what I preach, right? Oh, However, absolutely. I am going to say, I think you should also have counseling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe some shit you can get off your chest that, of course, I can't help. He can't help. But shit, if you ever need somebody to talk to, bro, we all here for you. Yeah, man. That's oh, good money. That's a lot. Bro, that's a fucking lot. Yeah. Mentally. But I'm so happy I can lot. speak on it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was times where I had to be in the trenches, like, what's my next move? Right, and right. I really had to, you know what I'm saying, get past certain things. Right. I'm I'm well now. Right, That's why right. I'm able to say things. It might be with some kind of, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of resentment, but I said it. Yeah, but it might be resentment. I'm glad you said it, because a lot of people out there, some people out there that need to hear that story. Right. Yeah. They need their right. help. Like, you know what I'm saying? They probably looking for their next move next. Right. Hmm. You right, Never and you know, know if, if, if you if you help by them hearing the story, even if one person heard this, and you was able to touch them with your story, if that one person got changed because your story touched yeah. them, and they d- decided not to go out and take away their life, please, you done save somebody. I say go talk to somebody. Everybody needs to talk to somebody. Somebody, it's a everybody lot of needs somebody. it's a lot of pain and negativism going around in this world. You know, I have my wife. Thank you. Huh, huh. You know what I'm Shout saying? Out to the Shout queens. Out I was living a thug life. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell her, like, yo, let, let, let me tell her. I used to have to tell her, like, look, look, don't be nervous or nothing, but niggas might call me and tell me where you at sometimes, like, just to be on the up and up. Because uh-huh, uh-huh. I had people that was letting me know, you know what I'm saying, in certain situations, what, you know, what people was in the vicinity and stuff. So nice. she used to be like, yo, you know, there was a dude on the phone talking about, yeah, yeah, she over there. She just got there. I'm like, yo, that's my that's my partner. He's just making sure you, you know, done he, made it to the crib. That's how we get sources. down. Hey, look, my nigga, got, <laughs> he got sources. I thought I was the only nigga. He got sources all around. Shout out to she, he got my man. Sources all around. Yeah, sources. And you, you know, ain't got to know everybody. It's just enough to have this information. True. Sources. sources. You know what I mean? Mm. Thank y'all for this, man. Thank y'all for having me. Man, it. I appreciate it, man. No Welcome yes, to Great Ace Cafe. On our next episode, I want us to highlight the most important thing. Money. What are you doing with your money? Are you saving? Are you doing investments? Tacos. Oh. Uh, are you going to do, uh, what's you, what, 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 Bitcoin? Are you going to do Bitcoin? Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Mm-hmm. What, what is Shout your marketing move? What is a 401k plan? What is that Rothschild? Roth, R-I-A Rothschild. We're going to talk about that mm. next time. This is Great Apes Cafe. Like, Subscribe, share. And before I actually bow tie this up, sis, you got anything you want to say? You gonna come back for the next episode? Sometime? I am gonna come back Please. for the next episode. We both okay. got I got, I'm gonna come back for the next episode. I yeah. like this. I like it. It's therapeutic. It really, it really is. is. I was a little nervous at first, but I'm good now. Got me a little drinky drink. Uh huh. Drink yeah. drink. Yeah. 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 I got a little nervous. I was a little nervous. I got a little nervous. <laughs> little drinky drink. Little drinky drink. <laughs> oh. Get ready. We getting lit. Got that bamboozle. Bamboo. Shout out to bamboo. I can't wait. When you gonna have me next? Whenever you, whenever you, mm. you always welcome. I might have there. a, I might have some topics. I might write them down and be like, hey, look. Let's do it. All right now. I need it. <laughs> I wanted to do finance for the next episode. But the next episode after that, I want to talk about hair. I know this is all cliche because you're a woman here, right? But. We as black people, why we spend so much money on hair products? <laughs> it's a billion. And to get our hair done. That's right, true. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But but I, what is wrong with that is we lot. need to start owning some businesses in the black hair community. There's a lot coming up though. We could talk about that. That's There's a lot is. coming up. Uh, yeah. That's a, you know I got to talk to Miss Katie. Shout out to Kate Miss Katie with the African heritage braiding. She got the got shout out to Daniel Robinson. She do the wigs. Uh huh. I gotta get my hair done. Shout I'm out Michelle's on the north side. She got the all black salon right there on the north what's side. That, what's the other place, Aaron, where we did the podcast for my homegirl? All dolled up. Shout out to all dolled up. Yeah, yes. most definitely. Shout out to her. I need to go hit her up because I need to get her my. I need to get some um conditioning shampoo. I need a washing set. I need a washing set. Okay, hold uh, it down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get this dress. I gotta get my hair retwisted. I, I gotta heard get that. right. You know what I mean? I gotta get right, but. We definitely, uh, definitely have. I'm, I'm. We thankful that y'all here. I appreciate y'all coming out, man. Much love, and respect. My Until God, next you're time. Already. Deuces. Yes, Today's cafe. Like, subscribe, share, me, and.